Okay guys, well I'm going to talk really quickly just simply because my SD card on this camera is filling up. Like I know I keep having SD issues on my cameras. It's just I'm filming a lot of videos and that's kind of what's happening until I can get like a, a gig that's like super, super, super like storage. I'm going to be just going back and forth with these. So I, that's on my to-do list to get another um, SD card with lots of storage. Um, but long story short, back to what I was just saying. If, you, if you've never thought about it, um, or maybe you have, by not getting your nails done, not getting your toes done, not getting some of these self-care things done, could allow you to jumpstart investing. Now, I'm not saying you have to do this forever. I'm not even saying that you have to do it at all. I'm going to tell you something about me. I've been getting my nails done since I was a little girl, since I was allowed to get my nails done. Like, whenever I became the age to be able to get my nails done, that's when I got my nails done and all the way up until adulthood. Um, so I decided when I get my nails done, I'm just going to give you a breakdown of what I pay for my nails and my toes so you guys could be, um, hold on. Sorry, but, um, yeah, so I, whenever I was able to get my nails and toes done, I would get my nails and toes done. So that's just what I did. Um, but let me just give you a rundown of how much it cost me to get my services that I get done. So let's talk about it. So my hair, I pay nothing for my hair because I do my hair. Obviously there's products out there that you can buy. I would say every few months I could probably spend about $10 on hair care, you know, because there is a product that I get and I use it for retwisting my hair and really that's like four or $5, but I'm just putting $10 out there. So I don't even really count that because I do my own hair. When I'm talking about hair, some of y'all get sew-ins that cost you a hundred something dollars. Some of y'all get lace fronts that cost you a hundred something dollars. Lashes. I do not get my lashes done. I've thought about them before just because I feel like it would always give me a look. Um, but I would always say this is a service that I know I probably would not keep up. I wouldn't want to. Um, now obviously maybe one day I will try it, but it was just, I don't know that it's going to be a thing forever. So lashes, y'all get y'all lashes done. That can cost you anywhere between what, 75 to 100 something dollars. Right now between hair, lashes, um, we're talking about, let's say, cause you gotta buy the hair too. So let's talk about we're already at $400, tips included and everything. When it gets down to your nails, y'all get a lot of fancy. Not everybody, but a lot of people get all that fancy design. It's 60 something dollars. Then they end up getting their toes done. That's $60, $120, easy, right? Let's just say tips got thrown in there as well, $150. Now we're looking at $550 that you've probably spent between hair, lashes, um, nails, toes, right? Mind you, these are services that you have to upkeep every two to four weeks. Um, moving on to, let's say you're, I already said nails and toes. So let's just say you get Brazilian waxes every month. That's $50, right? Um, so you're looking at $600. Let's say you also get facials every 30 days. The minimum is going to be 50. Then you're going to have like add-ons. So you probably spend what a hundred, that's about $700. Then let's say, mm, I need a massage. I need a, like a quick 30 minute. Okay. 30 minutes, $30. So let's say we're at about seven, we're at 730 now. And oh, um, I need to get my eyebrows done. Say between the massage and the eyebrows, you spend basically twenty dollars because you got to pay ten for the brows, and then so now you're looking at about seven hundred and fifty dollars. Then you say, "Oh, I've paid my bills, but I don't have any money left over." But when you think about it, you spent seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred dollars on looking like maintenance. I decided because let me tell you what I spend. When it comes down to my brows, my brows are ten dollars. They've upped the price since COVID. It used to be six or seven. When it comes to my nails, I normally get SNS dip powder. They were 35 at one point, they're now 40 after COVID, and I normally tip $5, so that's $45 right there. Um, when it comes to my pedicures, I don't get a regular pedicure. I spend 35 on my pedicure because I get gel. Gel, okay, a lot of cops. Gel lasts me a month or so. So to me, it's worth the investment. If I'm going to spend $25 for no gel that can chip in the same day, I might as well spend $10 more so that it doesn't chip. And then I pay $5 in tips. 
So that's $40 on the toes, that's $40 on the nails. Well, let's just say with the tips added, that not tips like tips on my toes, but me tipping a person. So that's 40 plus 45, that's $85 plus my eyebrows, that's $95. It sounds like the police was right here, but they're not right there. So that's like 95 to 100. That's 100 bucks, right? I spend 100, and that's probably it. Other women probably spend about 800 to a grand on maintenance. I think my little $100 is not that bad. However, just think about how I stopped doing my nails in my, well, I still get my toes down, but I just took a quick little nail break to let my nails breathe. I've been painting my nails. They look fine when I paint them. And I've been able to take that extra $100, $75 that I was spending and invest it. So in my investment accounts, I can have a stocks and bonds account where I'm putting $25, $25 each month and a money market account where I'm putting $50. That way I'm building up an investment account for, you know, a money market account maybe for when I actually need the funds or whenever I want to cash out on the funds, but I'm investing. So when you say you don't have money, it's not that you don't have money. It's you're not willing to sacrifice certain self-care aspects to be able to invest. Now, some people, they get those amenities and they don't have to sacrifice. But for me, when I actually sacrifice, it makes me feel as though as I become more successful, I'm going to be better at managing my success. So, yes, there's times where I say I'm not going to do X, Y and Z to prove to myself that you can make sacrifices, that you can do X, Y, and Z. Because you find yourself saving more money when you stop dishing it out in certain areas. You know, like for the past few weeks, I normally get my car washed like every week and a half, every week. That's $20, that's $100 every month. But if I hand wash it myself, that's $100 saved. So what I'm saying here is reinvest in yourself by reinvesting through the avenues that you already have in your life you don't necessarily have to change anything up it's what you have to do, stop doing so that you can get the results you don't have to go oh I have to go do this I have to get an extra job I have to do this you don't have to do all that to invest you could just cut pull back the reins on some of the things that you are doing the one thing that's going to be crucial when you become successful is being able to manage your success. If you don't know how to manage the small things, it's going to be very hard to manage the larger things. So I don't care if you have $100. Learn how to manage your $100. Make that $100 stretch. Be smart about that $100. So when we're dealing with a million, you're not tempted to not be able to handle it. Now, obviously, when you're younger, of course, you might not manage as well. You know, it's new to you, it's a new idea, it's a new concept, you want what you want. But as you get older, as you mature, as you go through different phases of life, you will start to understand that investing is important. Now, obviously, you have bills, you have things to pay, and sometimes it's not as feasible. But when you can invest in yourself, your greatest investment is going to be in yourself. So, I hope this video helped. I just wanted to get in here and let you guys know that... It doesn't require you to have to do the most to obtain the most. So be better, do better, and in the end of the day, you'll win in the end. Later. It's only 11 something.